What's up, you guys? It's your girl, Raw Money, and welcome back to the channel. It's been a minute, I know, but I wanted to pop in and give you guys an update on one of the latest projects that's been going on here at the house. As you can see, or if you can't tell, I'm in the home bar, and we've done quite a few things in here. We got some shelving up, backsplash, the bottles, got a countertop, got the cabinets and all that good stuff, which I will show eventually. Um, before we get into the video though, if you guys have not yet, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, share, comment, show your girl some love. I, it's been a while, but you know, that'll really help with the channel if you guys are doing those things. So um, today is the day where we're actually getting a couch delivered for in here. It's been a long time, you guys. We have had the hardest time finding something that we thought would go perfectly in here with the decor and just the overall vibe that we're going for, which is like speak easy at home. Um, we were going to do a leather couch at first, but then we decided to go with something more like classy, classic to really give off that speakeasy vibe. Um, surprisingly we went to living spaces and they have the perfect couch but i'll get more into that once the couch gets here but i want to show you guys um what it looks like so far we're far from done but one second all right guys so this is what the bar looks like so far we have all of our top shelf bourbons on the shelves for display um, all this stuff on the countertop, however, really needs to find a place. I mean, I'm going to have to find a place, obviously. But all of the cabinets are full of other liquors, overflow wines, things of that sort, glasses. So we really need to come up with a system to keep everything organized because we really don't want this to be cluttered on the countertop. We want to kind of showcase that nice countertop, um, soapstone countertop that we got. So this is the bar. This is the wallpaper we chose to go with. We really wanted that vintage speakeasy vibe. So that's why we decided to go dark. And of course the rest of our house is pretty dark. This is the wall that the couch is gonna go on. And it's a pretty nice size wall. So we wanted a nice size couch without it being too big to overpower the room. Um, this is the mirror I chose to go above the couch. I was trying to figure out what I wanted to hang on the wall. Um, excuse me, ma'am. Why would you be sitting there biting on my carpet? Go get, no, absolutely not. Ooh, you guys, dogs are something else. Excuse me for that. Um, but anyway, yeah, this is the mirror we're going to put above the couch. We didn't want to put too much on the wall simply because the wallpaper project was not cheap. And we wanted to avoid putting as many holes in it as possible, especially if we choose to switch up the wall uh, decor later on. We don't want to have a bunch of holes in there. So um, you'll see once the couch get here gets here why we chose to go with it and as far as the size goes and all that good stuff. But so far it looks good in here. Like I said, we have a few more things we want to do in here and that we need to get to kind of tie everything together. But I wanted to give you guys a visual of what we've done so far. And this is it. Can't wait till the guys get here with the couch. So the delivery guys just left. And you guys, when I say that I am obsessed, that's an understatement. I am obsessed. This couch is everything that I wanted it to be. Everything I envisioned for the vision that we have for this room. And just to give you guys a background, so we went to Living Spaces one day and we went in on a fluke because like I said, we've had the hardest time finding a couch that we felt like was perfect for the space. And when we walked in, we actually saw a couch and we were like, oh my God, this couch is perfect, but it's the wrong color. But um, Living Spaces, just to let you guys know, they have this program called the Universal Program where if you see a piece of furniture that is displayed on the floor and it has like a symbol with the color wheel on it and it says universal, that means that you can customize it to like a particular color and you can also get like different fabrics. They have fabric choices, color choices. So it worked out perfectly and we were able to get it in black with like these black legs with like a gold strip on the um, ends of, let me just show you guys one second. Okay, you guys, so this is the couch. And I am just really, really excited about it because the velvet on this couch is really durable. 
other fabrics that I've looked at, especially in velvet, if it's always been like kind of cheap, cheesy, but this is a really, really durable velvet. I don't know if you can tell, but it's really thick. And um, I just feel like it plays really well off of the wallpaper. I wanted something grand initially, like really big, but I also feel like this couch is long enough for the space. And I'm really glad that I chose this size and this style because again, it doesn't overpower the room. It's the perfect size. So these are the legs I was telling you guys about. They're like a black wood and it has kind of like that dull muted vintage kind of gold, which I like because you know it kind of plays off of the gold that we have in the rest of the room. And yeah, it's just perfect. Um, the mirror is gonna look amazing above the couch. It, it's just all gonna come together beautifully. So I just wanted to show you guys this. If you're in the market for any type of couches or furniture, definitely check out Living Spaces. We got a warranty on it, I think for like three or five years. Um, yeah, so this is so far what everything looks like. Um, it kind of like, plays well with the wallpaper, like I said, because this kind of reminds me of like suede or velvet. Actually, this kind of has like a suede vibe to it as well. So yeah, I guess I will follow up with you guys and give you more updates as we do more with the room. It's not too much more that needs to be done, but yeah, I I'm like obsessed, you guys, if you can't tell. So yeah. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and hopefully the information that I gave you guys about, you know, the couches and furniture or whatnot can help you out in the future if you're in the market for a couch. Um, like I said, if you guys have not yet, please like, share, subscribe. Make sure you click that bell for future post notifications so you don't miss any updates on the room and just other videos that I do in the near future. Um, if you guys are not following me on my other social networks, please do so. I have a TikTok. It's, it's raw money underscore. So that's R-A-H-H -H underscore. No, R-A-H-H-M-O-N-E-Y underscore. I'll put everything across the screen so you get it correct. Or I should say I should get it correct. Um, Instagram is also raw money minus the underscore. And, um... I also have a Instagram for my home decor page. I really need to get better at using that page a little more than what I do. I post more on my personal page, but I'll put that across the screen as well. Screen as well as raw home decor. Um, so anyway, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.